Good morning, my fellow pool lover. Welcome to the pool on this sunny day. I wanted to share a couple easy aqua yoga poses with you today. I'm going to show you warrior two and triangle pose. My name's Krista Fairbrother. If we haven't had the opportunity to meet before, I'm an internationally recognized aqua yoga coach and trainer, and I help regular people learn how to do aqua yoga in the pool. And if you're a professional, I also help you learn how to teach aqua yoga in your community. I'm also the author of Water Yoga, which was released last year. So what are your two pose? Well, how do we do it in the pool? I'm gonna show you today with one pool noodle because it gives you a little bit of an assist. We would start in mountain pose, that yoga home base, feet hip bone distance apart. I'm gonna step wide with my feet, so wider than shoulder distance. I'm mirroring you, so I'm gonna turn my left toes out 90 degrees. Now my feet are in this orientation. In this case, I'm gonna turn the pool noodle as well. So now my left fingertips, left toes are going in the same direction. As I exhale, I bend my left knee and sink it down. So this is the basics of warrior two. And I'm gonna bring it back up. I have this pool noodle. What's it for? What can I use it to do to add a little depth to my practice? When I bend that left knee and sink it down, of course, it's already offering me a little bit of support. I can use it to challenge my strength as well a little bit. So if I'm gonna bring this pool noodle down, I'm gonna move just a little bit. Make sure you can see this. It takes a lot of strength to connect that pool noodle to my knee, right? So I'm engaging with more strength here. I'm getting more stretch by raising this right arm up. Of course, if it doesn't feel good for my shoulder, it can come to somewhere else instead. And then I would bring the limbs back to the surface, straighten the leg, all 10 toes face forward again. This time I'm gonna go the other direction, but I'm gonna leave the pool noodle where it is. So my 10 toes are facing you. Pool noodle is gonna stay in the left hand, but now I'm gonna turn the right toes out. So I have that 90 degree orientation the other way. Exhale, bend the right knee, sink it down. Again, warrior two, I've got the pool noodle in back. It gives me a little bit of support, or if I wanna challenge my strength, this time I'm doing it in a new way. And again, arms doesn't have to go up, right? So bring it back, straighten the legs, toes face forward, bring it back in. So real easy introduction to warrior two. I'm gonna show you triangle pose now, but I'm gonna do it with a kickboard. Standard swimming kickboard. Same thing, we start in mountain pose, step wide. Turn my left toes out, 90 degrees. Kickboard is gonna go in the left hand, point the same direction. So my left fingertips, left toes are going the same direction. This time my legs stay straight. It's called triangle pose because of the shape my legs make. But I'm gonna hinge in my left hip and an imaginary force is pulling these fingertips, right? So I've hinged into triangle pose. What do I do with my other arm? I have some choices. I'm a little shallow for the depth of the water here and for my height. So notice this arm might feel a little like kind of just stuck. So of course I can bend the elbow. I could take the top arm up overhead, which is very traditional for a yoga class. Or because I'm in the water, I can take advantage of having it in front of me and then maybe move my gaze up and down, right? Which is gonna challenge my balance significantly more. Bring it back up, all 10 toes. Back to face forward, I'm gonna scooch into the screen, turn the right out. So same thing in the other direction, hinge in the right hip, doing what feels good with the top arm. So that's my basic introduction, facing forward to triangle pose. Two super easy poses that I hope you can accomplish in the pool. Saying hi. And why I'm doing these easy poses for you today is I create these waterproof sequences that you can buy and use in your own pool. And why I love them is, look, you dunk them in and you get wet. I was talking to a person this week who bought my book and she took it to the pool and she dropped it in the pool, which means book is ruined, right? You, you can't even open the pages anymore. These last forever. You just dry them off and you use them again and again. And these both are very easy ones. I offer 14 of them. It can be very hard to choose, right? So I wanna do these live videos and run through them for you to make it easier. So one noodle sequence, very easy to customize to the amount of effort you wanna put in. 
whether you want a really gentle practice or want to push yourself a little more. And then the kickboard sequence, both of which make use of real traditional postures. So they're going to seem uh, real accessible if you have a yoga practice. And if you don't, you're totally new to it because they're easy, it helps. And they come with these little rings so that they don't blow away on the pool deck. And the plastic ones are so they don't rest if you're in a salt water pool. As always, if you need any help deciding, reach out. You can use the link in my bio and just look for the tag that says shop for aqua yoga resources. And as always, I hope you have a lovely week. Make it to the pool. Enjoy a wet week, everybody. Take care.